Today is April 15th and marks the one year anniversary of the Boston Marathon bombing. It's also Holy Week, a week in which we remember suffering and death, marking on Friday the crucifixion of Jesus. So this day we remember the losses of a year ago and offer this prayer. O oh God, our God, the one who always was, the one who goes the distance, slow down a while and walk with us this day on the eve of running and persevering, on the eve of pain and remembrance. We have waited for the day when we might renew our strength and run without growing weary, but the path to this starting line has been longer and harder than we expected. It has led us through suffering, loss, anger, and death. Between the shock and pain at the finish line in Copley Square and the hopeful new start this coming week in Hopkinton, we had to travel through violence and fear in Cambridge and Watertown. The heartbreak we will feel on the hilly marathon path this week will be bigger than the empathy we have for the runners which it defeats. Our hearts will be heavy remembering limbs, hearing, and innocence lost. And we most especially grieve for Crystal, Ling Ji, and young Martin, whose races are run, and for Officer Sean, whose duty is over. We have waited for this day when you might give power to the faint and strength to the powerless. But more than that, we have waited for you, waited for even a glimpse of you who never gets tired, who doesn't need to stop to catch your breath. Oh God, we wait in confidence that like a mother eagle, you will feed us and cover us with the shelter of your wing. Remind us that we, too, are eagles, that we have wings with which to fly. Be for us the gentle breeze beneath us as we soar this day, confident of your healing presence, confident of your gracious love. Having been forgiven, may we forgive. Having known defeat, may we savor the victory that is ours in your grace this day and in every race that is set before us. Amen.